friends with you There might be people that you hoped upon The people you thought would be helping you They failed, abandoned, replaced and rejected I'm Jamie Good, economic student and keen traveller Inspired partly by my mum's many visits to far-flung places I've developed a particular interest in Africa Meeting a lot of Nigerians in the UK made me want to go to Nigeria So I thought, where better to start than in the biggest city, Lagos? I wanted to find out if someone like myself from a city like Cambridge can get by in what I've heard is one of the world's most crazy and chaotic places. So I'm here today in Cambridge, a city renowned for academia, to find out if people know anything about Lagos. You can name some of the world's largest cities off the top of your head, whatever comes right, first. Right, uh, Mexico world. City, Shanghai. London is huge. Uh, New York is even bigger. London, New York, Paris. Paris. Venice, Rome. Uh, what about in developing, <laughs> in developing countries? In developing countries? I don't know that much. <laughs> um, what's, what's that one? What's that one? Um, Lisbon? Portugal. That's kind of... <laughs> I think the average Portuguese person wouldn't be too happy to hear their country referred to as a it's developing kind of, nation. It's kind of developing. It's kind of developing, <laughs> Portugal, yeah. Well, would you be surprised to hear that there's a city in Africa which is bigger than any city in America? No, but I just don't know a lot about Africa, so I wouldn't be surprised to hear it. Wouldn't have thought that at all. Which large cities can you think of in Africa? Um, Cape Town, Johannesburg. Um... What's that one called? Clue. I'm trying to think. Would you be surprised to hear that one of the, one of the world's largest cities is actually in Nigeria? I'd yes. be very surprised. <laughs> yeah. Um, a city called Lagos? Never heard of it. You've never heard of it? I'm not sure I've even heard of Lagos. It would surprise you? I don't even know where that is. With a population of about 15 million people. Where's that? In is Nigeria. That... No, that, uh, that was fine. Have you heard anything about it before? No, never heard of it before. Never heard of it before? No, never in my life. <laughs> uh, have you heard about Lagos? Much about Lagos? Uh, not a great deal. <laughs> well, not a great deal. Well, what have you heard? I've been to Lagos. You've been to Lagos? Well, the airport. Wonderful. The airport. It <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> wasn't like a big tour. I'd love to go to Africa anyway, so I guess if it's nice and nobody's trying to hunt me down, I'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> With all the perceptions people have about Lagos being a dangerous place, I wanted to find out how my family would react when I told them my plans. The same. I'm not, I mean, I, I, some, some people say, oh, you've been to one big city, you've been to them all, but I really think a city to a large extent sums up the, the character of, of a country. Yeah, like the biggest city in the country is completely different. Yeah, but I think yeah. tourists do make it kind of more similar in a way. And because there's so few tourists in Lagos, I think it's a completely unique and it's a fantastic opportunity that you're going early on. Yeah, right. um, yeah about Jay going to uh, to Lagos, I mean, obviously I know nothing about the place. I've never been there. I haven't even been to anywhere in, uh, anywhere in Africa. Oh, sure. But um, yeah, he seems quite quite confident about, you know, the experience is going to be it's a good thing for him. And, you know, good luck to him. I'm sure he's going to have a great time. He's not going in there, you know, blinker at all. He's, he knows what he's letting himself in for and he knows, you know, kind of uh, kind of right approach to take to it. Well, I've been to Togo and Ghana and Mali and I've heard it's quite different. So I'm a bit concerned. I think it's, um, I believe it's a bit more violent. Um, I think most of West Africa, I think they're kind of fine. They were very friendly, but I have concerns it's not quite the same in Nigeria. I'm really pleased and I think he's doing a very good thing, but I'm obviously slightly concerned. I spent four, four months in um, Togo and I, I thought, thought that was a really, really safe part of the country and I, everyone was really worried about me going and I was going by myself and I'm a girl, I was 18. And um, when Jane went to Mali, I didn't, didn't think twice about it. And um, I travelled around Ghana and Burkina Faso and I never felt threatened at all. But I just heard such awful things about Lagos. Um, that I'm really, really concerned, I have to say. I haven't heard one good thing. It just seems to be crime and corruption, and I've heard that the, um, the borders uh, and the, the airport are just, just... If you get out of that alive, you'd be lucky. I'm just city. hoping it's not as bad as uh, I think it's going to be. It does seem to me like that whole area is... is um, there is this perception of West Africa, and it's not particularly safe, and it's very politically really volatile, etc., etc. Et but I, th I think that's all wrong. Like, I think Togo, no, Benin, Cote d'Ivoire, or Cote d'Ivoire, maybe not. But the rest of them, they're, they're safe and they're stable. Oh, yeah. But um, Lagos, I think, is a pocket of just corruption and crime. I think it stands on its own. I think, you know, generally, you know, West Africa's fine. And yeah. I think that's what we're I think, find I think it actually might even drag the rest of the place down. If like, you take out Nigeria, the rest of it, so I think, is quite stable. Okay. With an estimated population of 15 million people, Lagos ranks as one of the world's largest cities. What's more, it's growing, and it's set to become the world's third largest by 2020. The commercial capital of Nigeria, Lagos is home to many different nationalities, tribes and religions. 
However, despite windfall oil revenues in recent years, the vast majority of Lagosians have not benefited at all. That's Lagos on paper. Now to find out what it's really like. Do you want to sit down? No, sit. Hi. Hi. Um, I'm I'm new to Lagos, and I was wondering if you could um, answer a few questions I have, or just tell me a bit about the place generally. Uh, it's big, so it's like you can hardly go anywhere without seeing anybody. Like there are no like quiet areas or silent areas. There's everybody everywhere, and it's. It's amazing because here I feel most comfortable. Like I've been in all the cities, but the size of this city makes it so attractive. Like you just can't bypass so many things. It's beautiful. The people here are warm because everybody comes from every part of Nigeria and it's like we all settle here. So Igbo, Yoruba, Ishan, Nupe, Fulani, everybody's here. Every tribe in Nigeria so It's like the city of unity. It should be Nigeria's capital, though, not Abuja. <laughs> Lagos depicts Nigeria because because everybody lives in Lagos. There's a, a a tiny bit of every culture in Lagos. In each street you go to, each house you visit. If you visit a Yoruba man, you have Yoruba things going on for you in the house. An Igbo man and. The same happens. Anybody been calling you Oyibo lately? Yeah, I've heard uh, Oyibo, Oyibo. Oyibo, and yeah. maybe the star of the moment. What does it mean, Oyibo? In Yoruba, there's a word called Oyibo, and Oyibo means someone who has a white skin. Because most people who are in Nigeria, they have a black skin, and they call them Dudu. Like some people call me Dudu, but you, they call you Oyibo because you're. So if, if they call me Oyibo, can yeah. I call them Dudu? Uh, you could. Some will laugh. Some might take offense at it. But it really doesn't matter if they are calling you or you will. That means they like you. What do you do is work. I'm a magazine editor. I write a lot. Poetry, articles, but I don't do books yet. But I work at this magazine. It's called Click Magazine. It's for young people in Lagos or some other parts of Nigeria who are interested. It's basically campus stuff. So other people do the writing and then they take the pictures and then I just put them together and decide what goes in, what stays out. It's not really so much work because my work, it's not a challenge to me. I actually enjoy it. I've always been writing like since I was 14 or so and I really, really enjoy my job. So if I'm not at school and then I'm at the office working, if I'm not working, I'm using the internet or I'm hanging out with my friend. Like, I don't have that many friends, but I have one in Kem. She's really, really cool. And she loves music, and we have so many things in common. It's, it's cool. Neka took me to meet her best friend in Kem, a talented young musician from Lagos. The girls then invited me to chill out at their studio for the rest of the afternoon. This group of young artists had ingeniously transformed one of their bedrooms into a working studio. <laughs> Really, it's on my 